Hi, welcome to Mr. Mac and iPod Touch X. Today I'll be showing you how to install um, a new hard drive into 2010 MacBook Pro and where the points are and what kind of screwdriver you will need to unscrew with. Um, you can find this at Walmart or any store, I guess, that has hardware. But first of all, you start off by unscrewing the screw here, 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 here. And these three are pretty big, so you they go in certain spots and here and there but i'll just real quick unscrew these other screws i already started just to make the video time shorter and so you guys don't have to watch some of the boring parts and i'll probably edit it out too in the fast forward but yeah see this is one of the big shoes okay this is another big screw The reason I'm putting in, in my old hard drive for my MacBook Pro 2010 is because I kind of corrupted the hard other hard drive had a corrupt hard, became corrupt, which is pretty rare for a Mac, but it happened to me because I don't know why, but it did. So I'm putting in my old hard drive until I could afford to take it to Apple with my gas money and to get it fixed. So I'm putting in my original hard drive, which is pretty small from my old MacBook, but yeah. Okay, right, then you take this plate off like so, and then here's, then you put it like right there, you lay it somewhere. Make sure not to lose the screws, but okay, so, um, this is where the hard drive is, so you unscrew these screws along here like so. Be careful not to touch anything, or the other parts, because it could, you could like, with the static electricity on you, 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 you could make the parts not work so you gotta be very careful with it and you just kind of screw and screw this like so and you unscrew this one i recommend you having somewhat of experience doing this before you just start because that's why i'm making this tutorial for like beginners that don't know how but then you just take this out you put this like right there then you kind of ease the hard drive out like so okay and then you Unattach this thing right here, the thing that's keeping it attached, just kind of pull it off. And then you set that, oh, the, my hard drive, the, it's a six, it's a 648, see? But I'm gonna get it fixed, so. So you put it on this side, this side down, so you won't ruin it even though it's already done. Then I'm gonna take out this packaging, my old 500 gig, I don't know what's on it anymore, but it should be so good. Okay, then you put, then, see, you see this? You put, you look at this and you just kind of put it back on, like so. Make sure you don't force it in, it goes a certain way. It's pretty easy to see how it goes. But you just kind of push it in like so. Or here, let me go this way. Yeah, it goes this way. Hold up. It's kind of a hassle getting it in, but once you get it in, you're pretty much set. Pretty sure. What the fuck? Oh, that is. But yeah, so. Um. It's pretty much a pain getting this thing back in there. Okay, once you got this in, you put it in this way. Make sure it's all the way in, like so. Make sure you don't force it in. You should put this side in, the side that has the, um, the I don't know what that's called, but you should put it in first like this so it won't like break and then you just kind of ease it on in, like so. I think. Or here, hold on. Hold up. Let me fuck this up. Should go, okay. There should be these two little holes for where the screws go. So you just kind of ease that in there like so. And then this should just go in like so. Or, yeah. It's kind of hard to get this part in. Oh, sorry, you couldn't see. But it's kind of hard to get these little notches in the right notch thing. So it's pretty, so I recommend you. Hold up. There we go. Maybe I just put that in there. But 
I, yeah, it's because I had it in wrong. Okay, then afterwards you grab this little bracket thing, like so, this thing, and then you screw it back in. Like this. If you want, I recommend you screwing it all the way back in so Apple won't, like, say you broke it on your own. Just in case, that's just my recommendation. You screw this in, then you, like, kind of screw this guy in, like so. See? Like, I push it in so you know how much screw you have. Okay, let me like start pushing this guy in so it's like tight. Then you screw this guy in so it's tight. Okay, then you put this plate back on like so, this thing. You put it on back on like these. Or, yeah, like this. Then you pretty much just re. Start from the back, I recommend this is what I'm gonna do. But you get the big screws and you just kinda like screw them in there. Like so. You get this guy, you screw them in here. Like so. Get this guy, screw them in here like so. Then you get this guy and screw him in again like so. And if you're installing a brand new hard drive, I recommend reinstalling the OS. Because if you buy in a new hard drive, you have to reinstall the OS X. If, you, if it's a brand new hard drive, since it's mine's like my old hard drive from my old MacBook, it's gonna come with whatever I, I still had on it. So that's, I'm pretty much set, so I can't show you how to reinstall the OS, but. Yeah, so. So yeah, how much is this one? strong screw. Okay, so after you put those in, you grab these little bitty screwy thingies and start screwing them in and having fun with it. Let me think. Be careful not to screw them in too tight or like so you strip them but because the screws are hard to find and you could lose your warranty I'm guessing. That's just what I've been told but so yeah. Then after you're done you could just boot it up. Hold on I'm gonna screw this back in real quick and I'll show you what it looks like when it starts up again. It's pretty straightforward when you're reinstalling the OS, but if you have experience with this kind of stuff, yeah. Sorry if I'm just smuggle, like talking, is so I can speed up the process. And I'll probably have a diagram and in the description. And expect reviews from the companies that sent me products to review. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm recording from my brand new camera that I just got today. Sorry if there wasn't an unboxing for it, but I kind of just wanted to get my new hard drive and my MacBook and put my programs back on it and get my app that I'm working on for Mac OS X. Oh, it's a pretty cool app and, um, that I'm working on. It's called Hide Everything. I'll give you more about it if it gets approved and how much it's going to cost. It's a pretty simple application, but a lot of people, it's a utility. But yeah, so I'm probably just gonna make it 99 cents. So I can just make a little profit off of it, even though it's pretty easy. Cause it's pretty a useful utility. And I mean, it's a l l less money than camouflage. I'm pretty sure camouflage costs money still, if I'm not mistaken, but yeah. But if you wanna beta test it, if you have a Mac, I'm more than willing to send it out. But I'm probably just gonna send you the dot app and stuff. So you can't steal my idea. And expect some more Mac OS X tutorials and installation tutorials. But, yeah, so. Oh, yeah, and I'm starting to learn more SDK stuff. So expect more apps to come. 
on my other channel, but yeah. Oh yeah, don't forget to if I if you haven't signed up yet, sign up for Swagbucks so you can earn an extra entry in my giveaway. And that's pretty much it, so this screws being a booger, but yeah, so screws a booger right now, but I'll just fix that shit later. Pretty good. These screws kind of suck because they're so small and you don't want to lose them. So, probably just going to edit this part out and make it shorter because it's probably taking up a lot of time and I'm only allowed so many minutes or so because so, I'm not partner yet. But, oh yeah, by the way, I want to give a shout out to my friend, which I'll have his link down in the description. Because, yeah, just because. He can use some more subscribers because his videos are all on SDK and he's pretty cool. His name's Nanlise Software. He's probably start make quick YouTube because he lost his other channel because someone hacked him and he was just tired of it getting hacked. But I'll have his link down in the description and below. He does some pretty cool SDK tutorials and for beginners and stuff. I was trying to get him back to what his goal was, so he doesn't quit YouTube, but, yeah, because he's pretty cool, so. So, yeah, and then, what's up? Then I just had this last screw, and then I'm done. I don't remember what's on this hard drive, so I'm not going to show you, because, but maybe when my old, my new, then my, 640 or 650 or whatever it's called gets back from being repaired I'll upload a video don't forget to comment like and thumbs up this video peace